welcome back to Given Chances Farm. And today we're going to teach you how to crochet a scrubby. Either the magic circle way to do a scrubby, which in the end it'll look like this. And that's the way she's gonna show or do. I'm gonna do the scrubby in a rectangular or a square shape. This one's more the rectangular shape. <clears throat> You can either buy uh, yarn with the scrubby yarn already attached to it, or just um, plain scrubby yarn, and then buy cotton yarn. Um, and this one that my mom is letting me use, it's the sugar, sugar and is it sugar and sugar and cream? Uh, and cream. the one, yeah, and the one I'm using today is called Devon. Okay. So she'll start show you how to start a magic circle. So you take the tail and you put it in, uh, you pinch it with your thumb, and you wrap it around your hand. So you're kind of like making an X with it. But I make a circle. Well, no, I mean, an X in the, when you wrap it around. Yeah. And then you put your needle through the, um, the hole, and then you take the yarn that is attached to the ball, and you wrap it, well, you know, you don't really wrap it, but you put it on to the ball, the like, hook. on the hook, and then um, you pull it through the circle, and then you go ahead and you wrap it up, and then you get like a basically, well, more like a, a building. It's kind of similar to when you're, um, you're doing the, on the second row you're doing of a your, half double. Yeah. like when you do a half double. When you do a half double, so you'll wrap wrap it around the hook and it grabs and then you go back under the circle of the magic circle go underneath that hook wrap it. wrap it around the hook again and pull it through and then you go ahead so um i'm gonna get up a little closer yeah so now once you have kind of like a little loop then you want to go under the under the circle again. Then you want to bring up another one. Then you want to pull it as tight as you can. Then you wrap it around and you pull it through both of them like that. Then what you should have is you should have a loop. And then um, to start your actual magic circle, you have to go through the circle, hook it on, hook the yarn on the hook, and then you hook the yarn on the hook again and pull it through both of the loops. Then you have your first, um, what, what do they call it when you like loop it around the circle? Cause I don't know what the, the I, I don't understand which one. What are you talking about? So I'm, um, I'm wrapping it around and then I have, I have like a little uh, thing on it and then I wrapped it around and pulled it through both of the loops. What stitch that is? Yeah. What, what, it, what is it called? What you just said before, the half double. It's called a half double. And then you do that again. So you'll you'll do that same stitch for like six six, six stitches. Yeah. And then when you get to the sixth, you will I want to well, she'll, she'll show you when she gets to her six. Two. Three. Okay. Are you in the video? They they probably can't see it. So now that I have my six, 
<clears throat> you want to have a tail at the end of your circle, so that way you can pull the tail. No, watch carefully. You want to pull the tail, and then it kind of... Okay. And then you pull it, and what you should have is you should have a tiny little scrunched up circle. Then to um, you have to connect the two halves of the circle. So you want to make sure you hold the end tight. And then you, what you want to do is you want to go through one of them, the closest one to the end. Um, well, actually the beginning kind of, of the circle. And you want to grab the yarn, pull it through, and then do your... Uh, pull it through both the loops to do your half double. And then, like I showed you on the, um, how to start the circle, you keep doing that around and around and around, like this. So you start up here, and if you can see, there's a hole right there. And then you go around and around and around and around until get to the finished product. And now my mom will show you how to do the square on the <clears throat> So on the rectangular or square shape, you wanted to start out with a, a single chain and I think I did 13 and then <clears throat> when you go into your second row you'll wrap it stick it in not to the last of the one but it'd be like more like the 12th stitch and then you'll pull it through and then you just keep on doing that till you get to the very end and then when you get to the end you want to make sure you add a stitch that way it doesn't go um, crooked you want to keep that straight line up and down so you got this instead of it going cockeyed. So, let's do a few more stitches. And then sometimes it's a little hard when you have the, the, the cotton yarn and the scrubby yarn mixed together because it kind of wants, your needle wants to kind of stick onto it and not want to pull through. So, <clears throat> with this you just got to go a little bit slower because of the, the scrubby yarn. But if you have the yarn with the scrubby yarn attached to it, um, the ball with the cotton and the scrubby attached together, uh, it won't do that because you don't have two strings. Yeah, it's not quite as bad. You still have to go slow <clears throat> though because it's scrubby yarn. And the scrubby yarn is kind of sometimes hard to tell where your your stitch ended with it um, having the little strings off of the the yarn itself, the main sh string. So just right there, I accidentally missed and skipped a hole instead of going into the next hole that I was supposed to, I went two holes down. So I had to pull it out and start over. That way it doesn't... With the first stitch, not start all over. Yeah. Do that so it didn't look like it was a little crazy. So we'll, we'll do a few more stitches and then see if we can get this done and then we'll, we will um, come back. And this is how big I made mine.
Well, you can make them whatever size that you would like or prefer. So, see, this is see, this this one is a little bit larger than what this one is. So, to me, when I made this one, I made it, it in my opinion, it doesn't fit in my hands very well compared to what this one does. So, this is a good size that you could use for when you're scrubbing your dishes or pots and pans. Yeah. Same with mine. It fits in my hand. And yeah. This would be a good one for getting down maybe in a, a cup or something and scrubbing it. So hopefully you enjoy watching these crocheting videos. I know she, she likes making them and we like it to crochet. So hope you enjoyed it and Make sure to like and subscribe and um, make sure if you have any family or friends that like crocheting too, please share those videos. If you have any comments on um, or questions about how to do something, we may or may not be. We're not professionals, but we know a little bit. So you could just leave those down below. And, and um, also, if you want us to do... Um, any crocheting projects as a video uh, you can leave them down in the comments too so thanks for watching make sure to like subscribe hit the notification bell to be notified for any new upcoming videos we'll see you on the next one bye, bye.